Have you ever wondered how many women are having their period at the same time across the world? 800 million. Ouch. Periods are equal to cramps, mood swings, <sighs> stained clothes and endless changing of pads. Pads have been around for over a century but they never last longer than a few hours. Once used, they are tossed away without much thought. Ordinary disposable pads do not biodegrade. They outlive you by 500 to 800 years. Why is that? Because regular sanitary napkins are 90% plastic. Four plastic bags would make one sanitary napkin. In the 450 periods a woman has in her lifetime, she's likely to throw away 10,000 to 15,000 pads. That's 75,000 plastic bags thrown by just one woman in a lifetime. 36 million Indian women use 12.3 billion pads every year. Imagine how many plastic bags that is. That's a lot of waste. And with only 12% of menstruating women currently using pads, imagine how much worse things would get if every woman in India used pads. <sighs> In the absence of a proper system, women have come up with their own ways to dispose of pads. The ground is dug up and the pad is buried. It never grows into a plant. The pad sits there, leaching toxic chemicals into the soil and groundwater. Flushing it down the toilet is a quick and easy way to get rid of a pad. But in time, the pad bloats up, clogging drains and sewers. Setting a pad on fire is also not the best idea unless you enjoy breathing in toxic fumes, which are also cancer-causing. The worst way to dispose of a pad is to do nothing at all. Just fling it aside once used. And if mm -hmm. you think that the pad which was wrapped in yesterday's news would fare better than the others, it doesn't. It avoids segregation, steers clear of recycling, and makes it straight to the mountain of garbage that calls itself the landfill. Sanitary napkins are listed as medical products, Yet used sanitary napkins are not classified as biomedical waste. Waste workers are forced to handle used sanitary waste without proper safety gear. This exposes them to harmful microorganisms and viruses which can cause diseases like tetanus, hepatitis C, HIV. The government and many others have installed small incinerators in schools, colleges and offices as a solution to pad pollution. But burning pads at low temperatures releases toxins, which is hardly a solution. Women are bombarded with endless sanitary napkin ads that promise layers of comfort and the smell of spring. Wow! But what the ads won't tell you is that the chemicals that make the pads super absorbent are cancer-causing. And those added to make a pad smell nice not only mess with your hormones, but also cause allergies. Sanitary napkins are a multi-million dollar industry. Talking about how bad pads are isn't really a great idea for business. Women today have way more choices to manage periods which don't involve wrecking the planet or being at a risk of cancer. Vintage is in. The cloth pads your grandmother used are back. They are biodegradable and reusable. Menstrual cups can be chemical-free and last really long. One cup lasts for 10 years. Compare that to your pad, which lasts just a few hours. Period underwear is another innovation in the field of menstrual hygiene. They are eco-friendly and last five to six years. For those who are used to the pad, switching to organic pads is a far healthier option. They are made from bamboo or banana fibers, which decompose quite easily. Time to break the taboo and talk about period management. Time to reduce plastic and heal the planet. Time to change that bad for good.